Welcome back to the show where some random Norwegian guy on the internet teaches you how to fold clothes. Today we are going to have a look at blouses. A little similar to shirts, but there are some key differences that we will look at. So we are going to start out by doing a very easy and very common fold. After that we'll move on to the file fold and then lastly a little roll and some cool tips that I'll show you. So for shirts, um, this goes for both blouses and regular shirts. You always want to close them up. So for blouses, we're going to do that. And then we're actually going to turn them around and put them with their back facing up. And then from here, we are going to take one arm at a time and we are going to fold it in towards the middle, like so. You want to make sure that it's kind of even here. For women's blouses, um, they flare out a lot down at the bottom. They're a lot more curvy in the shape than the men's shirts are. Try to get it as straight as possible. We're going to do some slight adjustments later, but yeah for now. And from here we're going to take the arm of the shirt um, and we're going to fold it up 90 degrees towards the top of the collar. This will create a very slight crease here at the arm but it allows us to do a really nice and neat fold here. So do that on one side first and then you're going to take the other arm and you're going to fold that over in towards the middle as well making sure that everything is nice and lined up like this. And then you're going to take that arm and you're going to fold it up 90 degrees as well, up towards the top of the collar here. You don't need them to be overlapping completely, that's fine. If they do overlap completely, not a problem either. So from here, we're going to split the shirt into three parts. So we are going to try to fold along here, the edge here, so that it doesn't overlap the arms. So one third and one third like this should be fine. So from here, we're going to fold one side in first, like so. And at this point, you want to make sure that there is a nice even line here. Now that we have this side folded over, we're going to take the other side. And as you will see as we do this, uh, for women's blouses, sometimes they can fold slightly out here at the bottom. While this is not a big problem for the fold, it doesn't look as pretty. So feel free to make some adjustments, maybe make the fold slightly larger so that they don't uh, stick out on edge. So from here, we're going to turn the shirt around here, so it's a little bit easier for me to work with. And um, yeah, just making sure everything is nice and lined up so we don't have any creases forming. So from here, we're going to split the shirt into three parts here. And we're going to start by folding from the bottom, one third of the way up towards the top, like this. Again, making sure we avoid all creases. I just gotta straighten everything out, make it look nice. And then fold it over one more time, like so. And as you can see here now, you have a perfectly folded woman's blouse. Uh, this is a nice fold. You can usually stack them like this uh, on top of each other. They're a little bit hard to uh, distinguish from one another. So I'm going to show you a slight uh, variation of this fold. So it's pretty much the same uh, as we did up until the point here where we folded it in um, thirds from the sides. So instead of folding it over this way, we're going to fold the top down first. So one third of the way down. And then we're going to take the other side here and we're going to fold that over this side so that it overlaps. And this will create a nice uh, file fold that you can put in your dresser. Keep in mind uh, that shirts are not the easiest to file fold, but this is a great alternative if you do have a file folding system in your uh, dresser or closet. Uh, I'm going to show you one last variation here that is a lot uh, less wrinkle prone than the previous two. Uh, but of course, I want to mention, as always, if you truly want to avoid creases, you will need to hang your uh, sh uh, blouses. So this is a linen blouse that my mother graciously borrowed to me. Uh, so as you can see, this one won't benefit very much from being folded. It is a little bit hard because over long term, it is better to fold them up. But if you're going to use them regularly, consider hanging them, especially these uh, pure cotton and maybe cotton blends. Uh, linen for sure, always hang that. Uh, you want to make sure that you have a hanger that is, is at least a third of an inch thick or half a centimeter. Uh, otherwise, it can kind of create uh, very obvious marks in your shirt. So this would be a good hanger and this would be a bad hanger. And again, we're going to uh, close all the buttons here before we turn the shirt around. Place it on its uh, uh, front with the back facing up, like so. From here, we're going to fold the shirt in half. So um, from straight down the middle here, there will be a slight, slight crease here, but uh, it's a lot better than other options. So folding it from side to side over in half like this. Ta -da. It can be easy to lift it up and give it a bit of a shake like this uh, and then put it back down. 
uh, to uh, make sure everything is nice and lined up. Again, you can use your fingers a little bit as well. Once we have our blouse laid out nice and relatively even and nice here, uh, we are going to fold in arm. So we're going to fold in the entire arm here. If you have a short arm, short sleeved arm, you can fold them over like this. For these longer ones, uh, you will need to fold them slightly downward. Try to make them as uh, nice and even as possible here with the shoulder. And then from here, we are actually going to start rolling up the, the little uh, blouse here. So from the bottom here, we are going to gently roll it up. For women's blouses like this ones uh, that don't crease up very easily, this is a great option. This is my favorite. It's the one I teach in the, in the course that teaches you how to fold clothes to save the max amount of space. Um, it is, takes slightly more time than other ones, but I think the results are fantastic. And uh, once you make it to the top here, you can stack them like this in your file folding system. Yeah, you can even stack them vertically in these uh, cubes if you want to. I'm adding links down below if you want to buy this one. So you can see here, you can stack multiple ones. I have a bunch more folding videos that you can check out. For example, here's one on how to fold uh, dresses and here's one on how to fold skirts. We have it all. <laughs> uh, if you enjoyed this, please leave a thumbs up on the video and I will see you for the next folding tutorial.